Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how I made a rock garden. First step was to remove all the weeds from the old regular garden in front of my house. It was full of trash and really, really ugly junk that was just there and I was tired of trying to kill it off every year. And I never had the time to properly grow anything like a real garden. So I decided this year that we would make a rock garden. So I got down on my hands first step is to clear the area that you want to make into a rock garden. As you can see here I'm pulling up any little uh, stems that were still sticking through the ground. Next even though it was sprinkling this day and I, I, you don't have to tell me terrible video here but first shot so we're just gonna throw it up and see what happens. But even though it's raining I put down some roundup and this is really just to see the step. It is an extra precaution in my area in southwest Oklahoma the weeds are strong and prevalent so anything you can do beforehand to stop the weeds will help with any extra maintenance you would have to do later so next we're rolling out the weed barrier and it is just a thin fabric when it is pressed tightly against the ground it keeps any weeds and unwanted plants from sprouting. You can use this in your garden if you want to grow plants. You cut out a cross section and spread it over the garden area and get your plants to grow up through the cutouts. And it helps to keep any weeds from growing up around them. In this case, I want it completely weed free, so I am tacking it down to make a solid double layer in this case. You saw how I folded that over. I went for a double layer and this was in the beginning of April when I when I put all this out here. So now we're oh about the middle of August and I saw two very small weeds this last week and they had just grown up because I had started watering using that faucet there. So next we're going to actually apply the rocks. Now in this step I just cut the bags of rocks, flip them over, and try to spread them out slowly and evenly as I'm flipping the bags over. This helps to take a little stress off of the leveling out. Like as you're pouring out of the bag, you can get it, the rocks placed close to where you want them to end up. In this case, I wanted a nice even fill. So I go through with my hand and I just smooth everything back and forth. And this helps to get a nice even look to it. Uh, starting this out, I only got five bags. My math was a little bit off and I didn't want to end up with any extra to have extra bags of rock laying around the house or uh, returning them. I really hate returning stuff. I usually try to be very precise in what I purchase, only buying what I intend to use. And in this case, it was starting with five bags, and I always knew I could go back and get more, but I didn't want to start with ten bags and end up having to take three or four back. So the next step, I got a knife and cut the excess black weed barrier film out of the corners and the edges. And by doing this, it just helped to make a cleaner finished product. At this point, when you go back and look at the area, you can hardly see any of the black weed film at all anymore. It is just noticeable there on the very edges, but looking down from the top, all you see are the nice white rocks. We have since then got quite a few rainstorms and has washed all the chalk finish off of it. Um, anybody likes a shirt, super super soft. Anybody that has got one from me so far has really liked them. So now we're on a few days later when I got two more bags of rocks and I'm going through to finish filling in. There were a few little open black spaces that I could see from the top. So, as before, opening the bag and spreading them as I'm pouring them out of the bags. This makes it just much easier to smooth out and fill in those few 
remaining little gaps. And what I noticed while doing this is it is really not that hard. I put this off for two years thinking that you know it was something I might have to get somebody else to do but as you can see here I did this all on my own and the finished product came out looking really quite well so I hope you guys enjoy this if you have any questions throw them up I will do my best to answer them and if you got anything else you want to see how to videos on let me know I will try to get around to making something for you but finished product beautiful rock garden no weeds this whole summer and I'm in southwest Oklahoma where weeds are just as prevalent as Bermuda grass. So hope you enjoy. Thank you for spending a few minutes and taking a look at this video. Bye bye.